Hi, I'm Vidal with Photo Focus, and I'm on location in my hometown of Melbourne, Florida, where I caught up with real estate and nature photographer Robert Wicker. Now, Robert is going to talk about how he's using Twilight to capture some amazing shots of real estate photography. So relax, sit back, and enjoy a story from the set. Robert, welcome. Hey, V, thanks. Good. Now, I, I've known Robert for many, many years. I originally knew you as a nature photographer. Right. right. And then over the past several years, you kind of made the migration over to real estate photography. As that a with, Yeah, that with your nature photography still. Right. What made you do the switch? Uh, it was financial. You know, I could make a lot more money doing the uh, the real estate instead of the uh, the birds. You know, it's, it's all about the money. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now... I was browsing through Facebook and I saw a before and after image, or what I thought was a before and after image. I saw this beautiful, uh, in fact, <clears> let's look at it right here. I saw this, this lit here, this real estate shot, and thought, wow, how did Wicker go from this to this? And it was simple. What did you do? Well, it was shot two different times for one. Uh, you know, customers, they're not always right. They, uh, they'll call you out and say, hey, just whenever just show up and just get me a shot of the outside of the house and you know if you really want to sell a house and get more money for it you want to do more of a twilight shot so you know I waited till the golden hour got in there got the shot came back a little post-production and it's award-winning you know Good. it's now I, ironically because the very first image I saw like I said I thought you went from this image here and then I thought you went into Photoshop did Photoshop magic and then turn it into this image but then after you told me no, there are two separate shots. Correct. I wanted to make sure that I shot it the way the customer wanted, and then I shot it at twilight. Right. Now, what are some of your tips you'd give people for for shooting at twilight? Uh, one of the biggest things I do is I'll uh, I'll wet down the any pavers or concrete, brings the the uh, contrast down, uh, picks up some reflections in the twilight, and that type of stuff. That's one of the biggest things. Um, you know, and then <clears throat> exposure is everything. You want to expose for your, your home or the building or whatever that you're shooting, and then you can work with the sky, you know, with, uh, with Viveza. You know, I use that quite a bit, and, you know, I can control the sky a little bit more and don't have to bring out thousands of dollars worth of lights to, Good. to now, light Now, that's it. what I was going to ask you. So the software editing tool you're using is your own from Lightroom? To what, in the Photoshop, and then... And, right, and then I'll use plugins with, you know, Viveza, or sometimes I'll even use some of the Topaz stuff. Great, so that's a Nick plugin. Right, Nick Great. plugin and Topaz. And then lately you've been using Perfectly Clear at yeah, the very per end. Exactly, <laughs> the Perfectly Clear, it, you know, it's it's brought it up to that next next notch. Sweet. Yeah. So, now keep in mind, now if you if Rick Wicker were charging, let's say, 500 to 1,000 for a shot of the house, right. would you bring all the lights then? If I was bringing, you know, that kind of income on, on the shot, um, you know, if the house is 2,500 square feet, more than likely I'm going to do it the conventional way. If I'm looking at a million dollar home, definitely the, the lights are coming out. Yeah, so keep that in mind. So don't think this is just a simple replacement. Because like, oh, I, I could charge $500 for this home, and I only shot maybe three, four minutes, brought it into... Uh, Vivace, or, uh, Nick software right. or perfectly clear, did a little tweaking, and bam, we have this award-winning shot. Obviously, that's not the way it's done. Right. So, so that was really good. Now, sometimes your customers only want the basic shots, right? Correct. And what do you do but in that case? A lot, just... lot of times, you know, if I'm doing the interiors, I've kind of worked out a system of working mainly with the on-camera flash, um, you know, doing some EV values, pumping the flash up a little bit more, bouncing it from behind me, you know, onto the uh, subject. And then again, I'll bring it in and tweak the levels a little bit. And, you know, it it uh, makes a real nice job Perfect. out of it. Now, this shot right here again, the last shot that you did, the twilight, I really like this. This is something I could definitely see on the front cover of a real estate magazine Correct. or on the front cover of a home and garden magazine. Yep. So Architectural Digest, you know, any of those. Perfect. All right, so there was this tip. If you really want an award-winning shot for a home, shoot during the golden hour or twilight, yep. late in the evening. Absolutely. Right? Well, I'm Benelli with Photo Focus. Thanks for watching.